going on guys it's your boy bolt ratty here and uh today i'm bringing you another tutorial this tutorial is basically on how to make particles similar to this uh you won't be creating exactly the same thing like this but they will be much similar uh if you have trap code particular it'll be much easier to do but uh this is a really simple way to make particles for uh cin cinematics you know uh I use a lot of my particles in the cinematics. I honestly don't use them in anything else. But anyways, all right, so let's get started. Basically, what you're gonna do is create a new project, go to comp, new composition. We'll do about duration 10 seconds. What you're gonna do is go to layer, new solid, create a black solid, effect, simulation, and particle world. You guys should have this already. If not, um, Look up on Google, or I'm pretty sure you'll find it. See how to get CC Particle World, and it'll come up with a list of the CC plugins. Uh, I forgot what CC stands for, but it's a different uh, it's a different company that puts programs into the puts like plugins into After Effects and whatnot. So, anyways, uh, you'll get this when you first open it up. You'll get this grid right here. So, to get rid of this grid, you want to go over to Off Grid Off. And uh, you want to move a little bit into your comp so you can at least see the particles. <coughs> and then what you want to do is go over to birth rate, change this to about 0.5, change the longevity to about uh, 3. That would make it a little bit less dark. Go to the producer, and you want to change the X radius or the radius X to 1.5. Change the Y radius to 1.5. These basically spread spreads them out. As you can see right here, it spreads them out. And then on the Z radius, you want to change this to a two, about two, somewhere around there. And then what you want to do is go over to physics, change the animation to anything you desire. Uh, you can do whatever you want. These are just different types of particles you can do. Uh, but to get a good one, you want to change it to fractal omni. You get about this. And you want to change the velocity to uh, point, point 0.1 or 0 0.1. You want to, then you want to change the gravity to about, mm, say, let's say negative 0 0.2. This is how fast they come in, as you can see right there. And then you can close the physics up, and then you can go to particle. Particle type is uh, this really cool, like really cool. You could change it to whatever you want. Um, there's different types of stuff on here. You can do lens fade, which doesn't really show. Another cool one is this. Uh, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's like tetrahedron. I don't really know my complex shapes, but this is really cool for like. Uh, like bands like uh, you know the copyright free band called she uh, this is really cool to use in it but what we're gonna use to make the particles is faded sphere and you get like the as you can see the fades and the spheres and then you want to go down here to birth size and change this to point two and then go ahead and change the death size to point one five and then you can change the birth color to whatever you want, but I'm going to change it to about white. You can do like a grayish, or you can go ahead and do blue, but I'm going to go ahead and do white. And death color, white too, so we'll just get the simple white. Uh, then change the, I believe it's the size variation to 75, so it kind of darkens them a little bit. And honestly, that's basically it. Um, but you can see that these kind of uh, are a little bit uh, blurry and whatnot. But let's preview this real quick. Looks really nice. You can see the they come in really sweet. If they're a little bit too fast, go ahead and mess with the gravity a little bit. But this would be simple as this. Or if you import them into Vegas, you can go ahead and stretch it out. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert a fast blur to blur them a little bit. You want to make sure you hit P 
he does the edge pixel and changes to about three, I believe. Yeah, three. And so it looks a little bit more realistic, like particle wise. But that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll be sure to bring you some more this upcoming week. Thanks, guys.